Hi there. This is Ryan Malloy here at the Worldwide Center of Mathematics. In this video, we're going to discuss the uses of Pythagorean triples. As a brief reminder, a Pythagorean triple is a set of integers. We'll call them a, b, and c. Though really, you could call them any letters you want. Such that a squared plus b squared equals c squared. And there are lots of different combinations of integers for which this is true. For example, we have 3, 4, and 5 satisfy this. You can take multiples of this set. For example, you could multiply each number by 2. You get 6, 8, 10. You multiply each by 3. You get 9, 12, 15, so on and so forth. Another example is 5, 12, 13. If you want to work it out, you see that 5 squared plus 12 squared equals 13 squared. If you're not sure, just do the computation. 5 squared is 25. 12 squared is 144. And 13 squared is 169. And it is indeed true that 169 is equal to itself. So that is a Pythagorean triple. But the question remains, what good is it to know about any of these? When would it ever come up in the real world? And here's an example. Let's say you're building a fence or designing a fence where there are going to be posts, horizontal beams, and then cross beams. And let's say that the type of lumber that you're using to build this fence comes in units of maximum length of 16 feet. And what you want to know is, can you design this fence in such a way that all three measurements will be integer, multiple of feet, but less than 16 feet? And well, the answer is yes. If you just imagine this as being a red triangle, we label this A, B, and C. Well, by the Pythagorean theorem, a squared plus b squared equals c squared in a right triangle. But that's exactly what we have here. So all we need is a Pythagorean triple to satisfy this equation, in which all of the numbers are less than 16. But we've got a handy list right here. So what this tells us is that we could do, for example, 3 4, and then a hypotenuse of 5 feet. And if you want to be slightly more precise, since this isn't the entire length of this post, you might extend this upward a little bit and say that this entire thing is 5 feet. Or you could, if you want to make it a somewhat longer fence, you could use the 5, 12, 13 triangle. But whatever the dimensions you decide, it's helpful to know ahead of time that you can, in fact, find integers that satisfy this equation. My name is Ryan Malloy, and we've just discussed the uses of Pythagorean triples.